Yo, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the video. Today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to be more aggressive with Gibraltar. And that simple answer is use this bubble. Try to push with your bubble at all times. And in this video right here, I'll be showing you guys a pub match that I did that I was just doing nothing but being aggressive, throwing a bubble. And I'll be showing you guys and explaining to you guys what happens after you throw the bubble and what happens when the bubble goes away. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video and hopefully you guys learn something from it. All right, to start it with the very first person I did, by the way, if I sound weird, if I sound like I'm slurring, it's because my tongue is swollen on my right side, GG's. Um, but to start with this first push is, I'm not gonna go across the bridge. This is a dumb idea. I wanna hurry up, drop down low ground, which might sound a little weird, but you're Gibby, you have that bubble for protection. And as soon as I saw him, I immediately bubbled. Again, going in and out helps so much with Gibraltar, and I'm gonna explain exactly what I did. So right here, I saw a little bit of him, so I knew he's gonna peek anyway, so that's when I knew I needed the bubble right there. Um, I couldn't wait any longer. I was hoping to get to the top before I had a bubble, but I knew um, that wasn't going to be the case. So I went ahead and bubbled. Now, the reason why I immediately rushed to the top end of the bubble, for one, it's on the incline. So there's no reason for me to be at the back end of the bubble where they're going to see my legs and I can't shoot them at all. And it's going to be a very awkward situation. But also, I want it, when I'm playing more aggressive, I want to be at the front of the bubble to immediately uh, meet my opponent. So they have no none of my bubble. I have all the cover. They have zero. Um, so I immediately blast with R9 and I go inside and each time you see me go inside, I crouch. Um, so keep that in mind. Whenever you're going in the bubble, make sure you're crouching when you're going back in because you get in a lot faster. Your head, uh, gets in the dome a lot quicker than it would if you're just walking in. And each shot, I'm just immediately going back in and crouching each time. And as I come out, I'm uncrouching, um, just to hurry up and, uh, meet them. Uh, so this was a fun game though. So that was the first one. Again, I'll just show the in and out. Um, because it's good to get used to that. It's good to just get that motion all the time and also crouching involved too. So yeah. Who's your daddy? Alright, this next fight, we don't get the fight in the bubble, sadly, but we still push forward with the bubble to keep us from taking any more damage than needed. So he goes in and falls down. I'm gonna go ahead and go back a little bit. So right here at this point is when I notice him and you already see I'm, I know I automatically want to bubble. There's no reason for me to hide behind this when I want to be aggressive and I have to close the gap. And this is like my only opportunity to really throw it and not take as much damage. Or I could just hide behind this, toss it over, and then push forward. But I'm just trying to hurry up and get to the next fight. Again, we're playing pubs, so I'm just trying to just get in there. Um, immediately throw a bubble forward, get in front of the bubble. And I, as you see, I hesitated to go back in because I realized I wasn't taking that much damage and I want to hurry up and switch to the PK because it is a race and she is going to get away. Um, sadly, I, I whiffed. Um, and this is a little fun we had. We didn't do anything crazy right here. This simple bot lords being bot lords. Me missing again with the PK. It happens. The young hip fires on deck. Oh, you um, but yeah, it's a good thing just to throw a bubble forward like that um, to prevent from taking any more damage than you need to. So yeah, that's a fun little bubble push in the yawns. Great thing to be done. All right, and this fire here is a good way to practice. Like you find yourself in these opportunities to practice fighting in the bubble, practice your bubble melees, whatever it is. So right here, the team wasn't going to push. I went ahead and threw all, got some separation. Um, that way we can leave the building and not be trapped in here. Um, Bloodhound push. GG's only. There's, there's no explaining that. Just, you know. Gold. Good night, man. At this time, I did not know it was a Pathfinder. So, there's that. Where? Hello? Um, there's a lot of PK shots missed. Sorry. It happens. Okay, it happens. Sure, but up here is when you can actually get, like, a good little... Like, a 1v1 in, or whatever it is. Even though I'm, I'm duo queued right now. But, this is how you can practice some of your bubble melees, or your bubbles in general. Just force the bubble fights. Like, I'm getting my bubble back. I know I want to push up here, throw a bubble down, and have a little, nice little bubble fight. Uh, and we're able to do that. Hit it for 72. And now it's just a melees. Uh, just being a bully. Absolutely fun. And it's that last, uh... That last little melee is normally when you can... It's like, kind of like the kill shot kind of thing. You know? He's barely moving back, and that one slung him backwards. And that's when you get a nice shot in like that with the PK. Um... So this is probably one of the funnest things to do, and this is why I recommend people playing pubs, getting used to the game, um, used to bubble melees, and you find your rhythm, and this is this is how I get consistent melees in, um, just by finding fights like this, and you're able to practice it, because you really can't practice that in the firing range, because the melees don't work as well, I, know how to do the I should say. Next time, or...
Now, this fight right here in particular, a lot of people, or a lot of Gibbies in general, um, what? they get in these situations where the person they're fighting in a bubble doesn't want to move. Um, and melee is simply the, the way to go with that. So right here, melee them backwards, hit him with the 45, and now he's not moving. And I made him move. Um, that's the thing you want to do to counter that play that people do. And it's really smart for them to do that. Right here with the PK. Uh, I started hitting low numbers, and I stopped and t took my time a little bit. Excuse me. So I'm going to go back to the first fight. Right here. A lot of people like to do this. They like to stop, and they don't actually peek all the way. They want you to go to them. And you being the Gibby, you're going to take a lot of damage, forcing your way to try to get to them. And all they're going to do is when you fully go in, they're going to shoot you and go out the other end. Um, and they're just going to outplay you every single time. So simply force them out of that animation right there. So I, I melee them, backed them all the way to the middle of the bubble, and got a clean 100 shot. Um, that's what you want to do to counter that. Number 30, I missed. Number 9. And I, as you see, I stopped for a little bit, took my time, and aimed exactly right on them where I needed to be. Um, and just turned up right there. So that was like a fun little engagement. And a lot of people are going to find them, themselves fighting people like that Bangalore. Um, just if you can quickly try to melee them, um, just to throw them off of their position because they're just going to hold that spot until you move and they're going to obliterate you. So try to melee them. Um, it's an easy counter to it. Sometimes it might not work, but a lot of times it, it's going to help you out in that uh, situation right there. So hopefully that one helped out a lot. I know that's, uh, it's a hard thing to try to fight is when someone's saying still like that because they're not predictable. And again, you're a big body, so you has got to melee them out the way. Taking a 1v2. All right, so this fight right here, simply throw my alt down to keep them uh, behind the rock. I don't want them coming anywhere towards me. I don't want to throw my alt on them because I'm going to keep them in that same spot so we're able to actually push them right here at this rock is. I don't want them going up any higher or anything. I want them in this exact spot right here. That was the reason for my alt. Um, now we can get a little bubble fight going. Throw a bubble on teammate, try to protect him. That guy was a little too close though, unfortunate. Uh, but we hit him with a nice little work and twerk right there. Other people like to call it uh, bubble dancing, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's simply like nice little movement in the bubble where you're going out of the bubble, shooting, going back in, going back out, shooting again. We're just going out, shoot, in, shoot. Uh, just that just that nice little motion back and forth. Um, and you want to learn this as a Gibby. It will help you out in so many more fights than you can you can imagine uh, just getting a nice little movement down um because you get that rhythm going and you're absolutely just going to hit big numbers you're not going to hit nines you're going to hit hundreds each time uh especially when you get in that rhythm because you're just feeling it um so hopefully that helps you guys out a lot again it's probably one of my favorite things to do just going in and out and hitting big numbers um and it's all because you get in that rhythm getting that movement and you just you just feel like crispy with it um, absolutely insane got the res off and everything too absolutely just <laughs> amazing all right, right here in this fight, I'm trying to figure out exactly, like, who to push. And I know I want to push a guy to the right, but they're separated a little bit. This is, like, the best thing about Gibraltar is being able to push with this bubble and take less damage. Um, right here, I only got two cells taken away. And now the Valkyrie is completely away from the Octane. Um, my bubble protects my whole other side, so it acts like a whole other rock, like a whole other protection for me. So I didn't have to worry about his teammate. I could have my 1v1. And that's what you want to do in these situations. So Gibraltar in a 1v1... You shouldn't need bubble, you know, you can you should be able to fight out in the open and absolutely just clap whoever you're 1v1ing like right here I hit him broke him and now I start ADSing so I have my arm shield still arm shield broke and I'm so so healthy um, All I have to do is take a bat and back in the fight Almost broke. It was that kid pretty hard um, But yeah that fight right there I simply just hit fire with R9 because you know you don't want to hit fire with your SMGs more than you do your shotgun sometimes up close like that. Um, so that's why I didn't ADS right away. I knew if I got too low, I'd ADS then, and that's what that's what happened. Got the nice little res off and the yawns. And this is a good bub right here. Just protecting my teammate just in case those, uh, those airstrikes came in, or whatever you want to call them. Storm missiles? I don't know what I call them. Little missiles. And right here, you're just feeling it at this point, you yeah? know? I have 10 kills. I was feeling it, and I had a nice little 81 right there to the bird chest. Um, but yeah, as I gave you, just take those 1v1s, you know, use your bubble to push forward, and you don't have to fight in your bubble. You can be outside your bubble, and as long as you have that 1v1, you're absolutely chilling. Uh, now, if there's two guys right there, I would try to stay in my bubble as much as I possibly could. Um, <laughs> you're going to do it, dude. Yeah. Did you whip a shot, or did you get a... All right, so this first fight um, right here, not really anything crazy. I just climb up. And we just absolutely just bombard this team. 
Um, GG's to them. Hit him with a nice little melee. Hit another little melee. Again, practicing your melee is key, even if it's not in the bubble or whatever it is. It's good to try to figure out uh, how to melee, um, like what melees are missing, what, which ones are working. Uh -oh. And as you all see, I'm pretty much lined up directly on him, and I'm point blank, so I know I can hit my melees. All right, so this next fight, it's just going to show you how to pretty much push forward with your bubble and fight people just from off high ground and using your bubble. I see I look down like a little bit so I when I land my bubble is going to I'm gonna be at the edge of my bubble pretty much again practicing the melees is huge but going back to uh, me jumping off the top ropes whenever people throw bubbles off like a high ground like this you do you have to watch how you throw it because you don't want to land in the middle of the bubble that is the last thing you want to do is land in the middle of the bubble next thing you know you're stunned in the middle of the bubble Enemies right there, all they do is just walk in and you get absolutely obliterated. So try to angle it. So as you guys see, when I jump off this rope and I'm about to place bubble, I look at the back right. I hope you flick down the back right a little bit. So I don't go right at my feet. I go a little behind my feet and I watch where I land right afterwards. You can see where the bubble is, where I land. And I land right at the edge of the bubble so I'm already ready to go. I'm lined up. They can't do anything about it. Take my time, 99. And again, practicing those melees is absolutely key and just feeling your shots at that point so again it doesn't matter if the melee had like a, a big effect on the fight you know that melee didn't do anything i could just shot him again but i'm also practicing my melees i get to see exactly like again which ones work um get the rhythm of it get the feel of the melee and that's how you start to get better at mailing in a bubble and that's how i get so consistent you guys always wonder how i get better or like how i can always hit my melees that's how it's right there um i don't always hit them but i have like I guess a high hit rate with them and that's why it's constantly just mailing people uh, practicing with it um so again if you guys ever get the opportunity just go ahead and just melee away slap slap people around and uh eventually your melee is going to feel crispy all right last little fight uh it's nothing crazy we're just playing with the guys up, um we're both just trying to get our, our 1v1 our 1v1 in so i don't i got one v one in the rev he actually slapped me back absolutely insane um and just it's just simple bubble play i guess um, that's it for this video. Uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed. And I appreciate all y'all watching the videos. Uh, I know I'm inconsistent with uploading. That's going to change very shortly. Yeah, um, Starting with this video right here. I have a lot of clips and stuff ready to go uh, for more bubble explanations, whatever it is. Um, so again, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys are still learning from these videos. Uh, I keep my best to keep grinding, keep explaining. Because um, I'm still getting better with Gibby myself. So I appreciate all the love and support. Uh, you know, we had a nice little 15 kill game, 3,000 damage. Um, it was absolutely fun. So I appreciate everyone that watched. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure you guys follow my Twitch. Uh, that's where I go live. That's where I get all my content. C underscore apply 24 over on Twitch. Make sure you follow me over there. Um, and let me know you came from the YouTube side. I appreciate you guys. Much love. See you guys soon. Peace.